Do I have babies or what? <laughs> to design the new wet bar in my closet. Mm -hmm. Found the plumbing, so there's plumbing in here, but I don't like this. That one's going bye-bye. Because -bye. Ah. remember, my door's over there. Right. That's gonna be the new door area. So we're trying to, there's gonna be a window in here. Mm -hmm. This is too short, so we gotta build it up. But I think I want it to be an L-shaped bar. Like? So here I'd be looking out the window. So L-shaped, beverage cooler uh -huh. down below, and racks with champagne hanging Ooh. right here. Trying to figure out if I want it mirrored or not. You know, that's gonna be big. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this whole site's just gonna be entertaining. Mm -hmm. this is for entertainment purposes. So when you walk in the door over here. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Got to make a statement right away. I love that. So he's trying to draw it out for me. Okay, we can have the uh, beverage cooler in here on this side. Okay. A set of doors on one side because we have we have the space. Because this one is gonna be only. If I'm not wrong, the the one on your house it was like. From 21 to 24. The beverage cooler? Yes. Okay. And we have this from 24 to here, we have this space right here. So we got some little doors. So we can make some doors. Okay. More doors. And then up here, we're going to have racks of champagne. Yes. And then a sink. Here is going to be the sink right here. Okay. Then there's going to be a window right here. Yeah. That's the window. Racks like crisscross or, or what do you think? No, those just remember my old wine room? Mm -hmm. Where the rack just what is this? It's like a mm -mm. box. No. 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 Remember remember at my other house how we just had the racks mounted inside? The, yes. Okay. Well the oh, re, okay, okay. we did that on purpose because we wanted to have it climate climate control right right. right. this is not going to be climate controlled right so there's no even no boxes okay it's just going to be probably i'm going to assume at least three or four racks okay that the champagne will set in okay all right so, so there won't gonna, be no box no okay so it's going to be just flat with the well the racks were something like that uh, i don't i would say one on this side one on that side because if, if we do all the way, if we do in front of the sink, I don't think that's going to look good. I would recommend you to do like a mirror. Just straight and mirror? Side, yes. And then I was going to mirror the whole wall. We can do that too. I was just going to mirror the whole wall. We can do that. So question, this is not going to, this is not going to be here anymore. This is going to be closed off. So mm -hmm. would you bring this cabinet over more or just leave it here? No, we, like, if you Because this be is closed, the door. Yes. Oh, oh, the, the, this is my jewelry cabinet. Yes, but we're going to start from here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. From here. So you need to keep that space open then. We can use this space. This is going to be the front of the jewelry cabinets, right? This is going to be the front. No, so I don't want it over here more because this is the front of the jewelry cabinets, and then down below is drawers coming out. Yes. So I don't need this to come over here. That okay. needs to stay over there. Okay, we can keep yeah. it there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we can do both ways. We can do on the sides, the, the racks that you want for the box. Right. And then and then we can do okay. mirror, or we can do the whole okay. mirror. So we need to tear this out. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. You might want to keep the doors yes. and drawers in case we use them over here. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to come off because we need to go higher mm -hmm. with a new piece of something white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go all the way to the top. Yes. So 
36 inches more. So 36 inches more, mm -hmm. each piece. Each piece. And then we're gonna do glass shells. Yes. We're gonna the, top, do... the top's gonna be what, two inches so we can put light hooks up there? Yeah. On the first one, we're gonna do two glass shells and then, then the next use one. Right. And then the next one. Add for two. luggage. Right. Okay. And then those get finished getting up. Mm -hmm. We're right in the middle of an AC vent. Oh, but he's off to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are going to go on up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But mean? no shell. No shell. Right. No shell. Just take them up to the ceiling. Yes, it's going to be just the opening. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that goes bye bye because we're doing another window over there. That goes bye bye because yeah. we're going to add more clothes, more clothes rack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And these need to come off. Yes. So this is the separate molding right here that we can do. The but this is higher than this. Yes, this is higher. What we can do is we can use this panel right here and they can do the, the, the mirror the inside. Right inside. Okay. So we can take what that. What I wanted to do the same thing here. Opening with glass, opening with glass, opening, opening. That's not hard, we can do that. Because I don't want this for jewelry. Mm -hmm. These are gonna be display cases for purses. Okay. Special purses. Mm. Yeah, we can do that. It's, it's not hard. So we just need to know what the opening is here versus the opening up here, mm -hmm. and then I can order the pieces of glass. Yes. So you want to do what? Three? Three? It'll be four. Oh. Eight. Eight, Eight display cases for amazing purses. Because all the jewelry is going to go over the jewelry mm -hmm. deck, and so will be locked up. But I love that. That's so different. I've never seen. Totally different. I've never seen anybody have display cases mm -mm. for their purses. <laughs> and then we can do locks on the door. Oh yeah. So they're locked up. I love that. <laughs> that just came to me. <laughs> I was like, this isn't going to be for jewelry. This is going to be for purses. <laughs> do I have babies or what? <laughs> They're like, but we want to be with you, Mom. I'm like, I'm up on top of the counter, and you can't play. <laughs> you can't run around and play. Because oh, it's just you. Oh, and you're all wet. You've been outside playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they hate Mondays. <laughs> Why? Because they spend all weekend with Mommy. Mommy holds them. Mommy plays with them. Mommy rubs them. Mommy, 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 Mommy. They get full Mommy attention on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So Monday comes. They're like, oh. But mom, <laughs> we had you all weekend. How come we don't have you today? Because mommy's working. Mommy's working. Look at me. They're like, but we can get up there. We know, we know we can get up there. How are we gonna get up there, mom? Mom, how are we gonna get up there? <laughs> are you a mommy's boy? You are. You're a mommy's boy. He says, that's not fair, mommy. <laughs> They're like, why'd you put us down? <laughs> But we were setting steel. We were being good. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Tell me. Tell me all about it. <laughs> See, he talks to me. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky Roo. Ricky Roo. Just give her a couple minutes. <laughs> so, inspiration. <laughs> Where do I get my inspiration from when I come to design closets? <sighs> you know, it just comes to me. Like, I spend time in the room... And it just, I see it. Now, more of it's going to come to me as soon as I start seeing some things tore out. Mm -hmm. You know, because right now, I see a window over there. Right now, I see more hanging closet over there. I see all this open up. I see all this extend up to the ceiling. Puck lighting, glass shelving. I see it. <laughs> I see the bar. We just got done discussing the bar area. But that area over there is going to, well, first of all, this area is going to blow your mind because this area is not going to look like this anymore. Like we're taking these up to the ceiling. There'll be puck lighting in every area. Certain areas will have two shelves of glass. One will be glass, one glass shelf, two glass shelves, one glass shelf. 
Remember, I have luggage mm -hmm. that has to be on display, so it needs more space. But we're going to do all glass shelving, puck lighting, strip lighting, glass doors with bling bling handles. There'll be mirror. Remember the front of my... These, these right here won't have mirror because mm -hmm. that's where the, the doors have to attach. But, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. Um, that weird, that, this whole wall where the champagne will hang will be mirror. There'll be a big window here. This will all be bar area. Much taller, much prettier countertop, sink and everything. Refrigerator. This will all be gone. This will all be, this This will be the doors. This will be the glass doors right here mm -hmm. of the jewelry cases. So this wall gets moved back 24 inches. No way. Yeah. So this will all become jewelry, glass doors jewelry. So that means my door can be that big, 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 big. And then you just heard it here. We're going to build... We're going to cut out four more holes, so there'll be glass in all four areas. So there'll be four, eight, eight display cases of purses. I love it. Very special purses. Each door will each drawer will be locked, so you can't get into it. The cabinets over there with the jewelry will all be locked. Everything will be uplit. Puck lighting, strip lighting, glass doors, bling bling. New chandelier. We just got off the phone with them. <sighs> supposed to be here by the first of the year. Okay. We're supposed to be here the first of the December. Mm -hmm. But now it, it has shipped. But it usually takes, she said, two to three weeks to get to them. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Could have told me that when I ordered it. I wouldn't have ordered it. Because you know that same thing happened to the bedroom chandeliers. Yeah. I had at Carol's Lighting, I had picked out two chandeliers I wanted. She said, oh, they're not available till February. And I said... Boom, I don't care how much I like them. I'm not gonna wait that long. I can find something that, so when I ordered this chandelier, so then I turned around, ordered those, they said 10 days. Boom, 10 days, mm -hmm. they were in. Right. When I ordered this, same thing, 10 days. Now, 1st of December, because that was 10 days. Right. Now it's 1st of January. Great. I'm like, could have told me, I would have changed my mind. Yeah. Could have found something else. But anyways, these two, Chandeliers go bye bye, and one big, massive round ball crystal yes. will be hanging here. So that'll be stunning. We're gonna add more spotlighting, and then we're gonna break through over here. Those will go straight up. This will be solid mirror, solid mirror, and then in there, glass shelving galore. Like, can't tell all the secrets yet. You gotta watch it unfold. But I love Mondays. Mondays are when I take everything I thought about over the weekend and I put it to paper. Just like over the weekend, I kept going into that master bathroom going, something's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Something is not working here. And what did I do today, Fab? Laid it all Laid out. Laid it back out <laughs> and I said, here's the problem. Here's how we're gonna fix it. So, yeah, things just, I have to I have to walk back in the room. I have to spend time in the room over the weekend and then Monday everything comes to light and it goes on paper and it's like, uh-huh. There's the answer. Oh yeah. Inspiration. You guys need to respond down below how you get inspired. Who inspires you? Is it me? Is it Kim Kardashian? Is it Zig Ziglar, is it Mr. Fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> Respond below. Who 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 inspires you? Or who have you been inspired by in the past? Maybe it was a past teacher. Maybe it was a coworker. Maybe it was a boss. Maybe it was a friend. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I get asked that question a lot in interviews. Who was your biggest inspiration? Who inspires you? We've all had somebody inspire us or motivate us or, you know, give us that sense of direction when we felt like we were lost. And then you ran into that right person and that person, for some reason, was able to put all the gears to motion. And you're like, 
yes. Okay, yeah. Your mom might have been telling you the same thing as that person tells you. But for some reason, when that person tells you, it's like, ta-da! <laughs> and then your mom's like, I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> you didn't let her listen to me. <laughs> but list below, um, who who inspires you? No, no, no. It was in the newspaper. It was an article. It was in the newspaper. And okay. in Sunday's newspaper. And so when I was reading Sunday's newspaper yesterday, I, I snapped that photo. And I was like... Oh, does it say who the... Uh, it was a designer. Oh my gosh, she probably already threw the damn newspaper away. It was a designer that designed them, supposedly. Let well, here's what we can do. Can they be made? Yes, they can. What we could do is use a laminate on the outside back. Well, it looks like it was a laminate anyways, like a wood laminate, didn't it? Uh-huh, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. And so, just like how we were using that... Weren't we using kind of a gray or gray metallic laminate for the back of the uh, bar the, chairs? The bar chairs. Right. Yeah. So I was thinking we could get away with doing the same thing in the dining room. We could do that, or we could also do a, a hardwood and paint it to give you that same, you know, give you the color if you don't want the laminate. I don't think I would like the wood, do you? Okay. No, no, I'm just saying, if we do a wood, it can be painted. But if you want, we can go with the laminate. I think the laminate would probably be pretty. Well, and it'll kind of tie everything together. Right, right, right. You think that would not look too crowded? Four chairs? Say this is where the vanity is going to be. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. This is where the edge of the tub is going to be. Okay. So, this is super tight. Yes, it is. To get to the shower. Mm -hmm. So, that's not going to work. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do on Lamar's side mm -hmm. is just give him just the floating. Floating? Just the floating vanity. Okay. None of that, none of that. Because he's going to have all of this over here for storage. Right. He's got all of this. Okay. So we're going to give me all of that on my side. Mm -hmm. We're going to do all of that. Okay. Because that's the woman's side. Okay. But on Lamar's side, because it's going to end up being too tight, mm -hmm. if we only do 60 inches, I think that puts us about right here. Right? Yes. So here's his vanity right here. Mm -hmm. Now we have space. Right. Because I think, here's the problem we got. The tub is in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Shower is almost where the end of the tub is. Right. At the other house, I had glass, I had an opening, and I had glass. Yeah. That's going to look stupid because it's not centered of the tub. The center where the opening will be? Yeah. It, the center of the opening is going to be right here, mm -hmm. which is going to look stupid. So I'm thinking I'm going to do glass from this corner all the way over, mm -hmm. and then do the door into the shower over here. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be good. 
So this is gone. Mm -hmm. This is gone. Okay. This is all he gets here. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah, that's what right here. Yes. That's all a man needs. Mm -hmm. It's not about the man. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the woman, right? Yes. No matter who, what house you go into, if you go into a beautiful house, it's always the woman's side that's got all of this and mm -hmm. the makeup and the vanity and all mm -hmm. this, and the man just gets to see. Because mm -hmm. that's all he needs. Okay. And that's all he had in the other bathroom. Yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah. I had the big, long mm -hmm. makeup area. I remember. Remember? He just had the floating bed. I cannot keep up with it. Teresa, where is she? Carolina said she was out here. Yep, I hear her. She must be planning more stuff. Which one's in the back? Is the other one? The iris? Yeah, the iris. Okay. Door. Those gel points. Gel points right here. From the step, from the edge of the house, by the step, down. Okay. I don't know how many that's going to be. Right here? Yep. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. Down. Seven. Six. Seven. 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 Seven on that side. I don't think you're going to get as many on this side. This is a shorter side. Because it's crazy, right? Yeah. Up. Oh, well, that's, so that's two. Yeah. Where you're, where yeah, that's one. Two. Yeah, that's one. No, one is up here. Remember, you started up by the house. Oh, yeah, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Seven. Oh, yeah. So seven on each side. I don't know why that seems like it's long. Oh, what is this? They're not for you. <laughs> You're like, where's my snaggies now? Yeah, tasty. So the neighbors are not very close here out at the ranch. But what neighbors we do have... I think I think I have like this many kind of in a couple mile stretch here. Uh huh. So I don't know. I just drive past their houses. But to me, the neighborly thing to do is to give them each their family a little gift wax. Nice. Full of popcorns, assorted popcorns. Right. I like it. Very nice of you. Have they gotten me a present? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know my neighbor's names. But I don't even need a present because to me, it's all about, like when I was little and even when I was like in my early 20s and I was a stay-at-home mom for just a little period of time, I always made cookies and fudge brownies and mm. just all kinds of, you, that's what you did. You just made all kinds of sweets mm -hmm. and then you took a tray or a plate of homemade sweets or a, a tin or whatever of homemade sweets to your neighbor as their Merry Christmas package nice. for their family. So I don't cook much these days. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, where are those brownies and cookies now? <laughs> like <laughs> whip I them guess. up. <laughs> <laughs> They'd all be going home <laughs> yes. every single day. I'd be like, sorry neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't need that crap. <laughs> and so anyways, I have very fond memories of making homemade goodies and giving them to my neighbors and so since i really don't cook much these days i was like why not just order in little gift packages that's perfect and deliver them to my neighbors as a way of saying merry christmas i haven't met you yet but merry christmas nice <laughs> and then hopefully one of these days we'll all meet the only person i did meet was the neighbor across the street when he was mad that <laughs> all of my contractors were parking on his side of the road which Granted, it's his property, but it's really not his property because the ditch mm -hmm. is literally the county's property. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to just maintain it. Mm -hmm. So they really weren't on his property, but they were kind of on their property. But it's like when you got this many workers and you got like 30 different contractors here that they've got to park in the street. Because exactly. I don't want them parking. I mean, like we live on a lot of acreage, but I don't want them just parking anywhere. Exactly. Like I'm trying to have beautiful grounds, not tire redded grounds. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas, neighbors. <laughs> you just love tearing through these walls, huh? Making them bigger and bigger okay, and bigger. so we're gonna flash up a picture of this soon to be new theater building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you wanted to do the outro here. Yeah, never mind. 
So that opening that they're cutting has to be the same size as this opening. So, remember I wanted to build a big atrium here? Right. For privacy? Mm hmm I live on so much acreage, who the hell is going to be back here <laughs> staring at me butt naked? Oh, so you tried to change it. And look, my windows are dark too. Did you notice that? Oh my god, your windows are dark. Yeah, so it's not like they're like regular windows where it's like really light and bright. They're actually very, they're tinted windows. So, even if you're standing out here, you can't see a whole lot. Now, granted, it's kind of dark in there because it's not <laughs> lit up like it's going to be in the future, but still, like... Who's going to so be So, I here? just ordered four more pygmy dates. You know those pygmy dates? Uh-huh. Right around the corner of the house? Mm hmm I ordered four more. One, two, three, four. So, we're going to put those in here. And I'm going to hold off for a little bit on deciding about this atrium. Okay. okay. So I'm kind of liking looking at my acreage. And just imagine if I do get horses. Oh, great. <laughs> I might want to see them. <laughs> uh -oh. I haven't decided yet. Some people I talk to say yes. Some people, I don't know. I kind of, kind of thinking about it. I don't know. Or llamas. Maybe I'll get some llamas. <laughs> I have a girlfriend that just got some llamas. Really? They're amazing. And wow. you only have to feed them once a week. Wow. Her, house, her her assistant goes up to the ranch once a week and feeds them. I'm like, because I guess the whatever she feeds them just, just lasts them yeah. for a week. So I don't know. I could maybe, just see them maybe spitting llamas. on us. Don't they spit? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a giraffe. <laughs> no lump. Oh, llamas I don't know. do too? Comment below, guys. Maybe it is giraffes. Something with a long neck spits. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I've just ordered the pygmy dates. They'll probably be here tomorrow um because that's how fast we're working around here but um i'm holding off on the atrium i'm gonna hold off just momentarily i just wanna just wanna see so any, anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video what happened to our sun fab like uh, it, it has been hidden it was supposed to be a sunny sunny day 68 to 70 degrees one of those perfect days and lo and behold it turned into a cloudy muggy uggy cold day yeah but yet the rest of the week is supposed to be in the 80s hopefully <laughs> and some sun because we haven't had no sun we have not had sun remember guys i picked all my tomatoes because i had a crap load of tomatoes mm -hmm. on my tomato plants and we picked them all we were just going to set them out in the sun and let them turn red because we threw the tomato plants away because we're going to wait till next year when i've got all my raised vegetable beds mm -hmm. I haven't had a damn ounce of sun to turn my tomatoes red great so i sent a bunch of them home with carolina so she can make she does something with green tomatoes Mix the salsa of some kind. Mm. I know. Maybe she needs. She needs to, to bring, bring a cup back <laughs> over here. <laughs> You're like, uh, bring me some salsa, please. Not me, because I don't like. It. But anyways, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you have not become a peeps yet, you have the rest of this week to become a peeps. Because what are we doing? We're giving some lucky peep mm -hmm. that's a member of the peeps club two hundred and fifty dollars, yes. just in time for Christmas. So. If you've not gone to my YouTube channel, on my homepage, right at the top, up somewhere by where it says subscribe, subscribe, it also says join. When you hit join, it shows you the three different levels that you can join in as, as a peep. I think the first level, hey peeps, is 99 cents a month. And imagine putting 99 cents and getting $250. No brainer. Could be no you. Brainer. And we do all kinds of fun things for the hey peeps people. So, yes. yes. So. Actually, you know what we need to do now? We need to come up with merch. We have some that say, hey, peeps. Mm -hmm. Then we need to have, what's the other one? Peeps Club? Uh-huh. And then VIP VI peeps. Ooh. Some new merch. Yes. Somebody was just asking the other day for some new merch. VIP peeps. So I think, I think we need to come up with some new merch. Anyways, guys, make sure you tell your friends about us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit your notification bell so that you always know when we are hitting up a video, loading up a video dance into a video <laughs> whatever you like the shirt yes queen hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and you like this natural hair yes <laughs> this is what happens when you uh 
take a shower, wash your hair, and only let it air dry for 30 minutes, and then you stick it up in a bun uh -huh. on top of your head and you go to bed. It comes out kind of like El Natural, I guess. Yeah. You're done up. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, we're getting ready to go film Wacky Wednesday. Bye-bye.